Osman Ghazi, also known as Osman Ghazi, was the founder of the Ottoman dynasty that would establish the Ottoman Empire. Osman was the father of Arturul Bey, who was gifted so good from the Seljuk Sultan, Sultan Ali Eddin Kaykubad II. Osman would establish an independent Beylik in the year 1292. Osman would become the Bey of the Oghuz Turkic tribe, the Kailar tribe. However, some historians say that he had a conflict in power with his uncle Dundar Bey, who rebelled against him by either plotting to kill him or ruining an attack on a Greek island. As a result, Dundar was executed for his treason. It is said that Osman Bey had a dream in where a tree was growing out of his chest. It reached everywhere in the world predicting the conquest of the Ottoman Empire that would be established by his descendants. When Osman took the Beylik after the death of Artur al-Ghazi, his tribe only consisted of Sughut and Dominic. Osman would expand in two different fronts. He would fight the Byzantine tech force or governors in his region. However, he also fought local Turkmen tribes that rose against him. Osman's conquests included the capture of Bilicic, Yanishad, Inigol, and Yarisahar. His first conquests came when he captured the fortresses of Kulu Jaisar and Eskishir. Osman's last campaign was the siege of Bursa, in which he did not participate in physically. Osman's first battle happened in the year 1284, when he was attacked by the Tekfor of Bursa. This was a surprise attack, and Osman lost many of his volunteer soldiers or Alps, including his own nephew, Koja Sarahum Bey, the son of Savshi Bey. A year later, after the incident, he sieged Kulu Jaisar with 300 of his Alps. The castle was conquered, however the Dekfur of Kulu Jaisar did not submit as he was an ally of the governor of Karajaisar. Osman and his army would then meet the Byzantine army of the Karajaisar fortress in a fierce confrontation. Despite being able to conquer it, he lost his older brother Savshi Bey. The Byzantine commander Pilatos was also killed in the battle. When Osman settled in the fortress, he assigned a Qadi or judge, as well as a chief of police. Upon hearing of the conquest, the Seljuk Sultan Ala Eddin Kaykubad III labeled Osman as Osman Shah. After the conquest of Karajaisar, Osman's spies alerted him that the Tekfur of Bilicic had betrayed the trust that he made with him. Osman ordered for 40 of his Alps to be disguised as they were merchants and enter the castle. The Alps were able to enter the, as the Tekfur of Bilicic was unaware that Osman had learned of his betrayal. The Alps were able to overcome the castle guards and allow for Osman to come with the rest of the, his army to conquer the castle. At that same time, Osman captured the Byzantine forts of Goynuk and Yenija Tarakli. The daughter of the Tekfur of Bilicic Hulofia was married to Osman's son and later, or later the Sultan of the Ottoman Empire. She also changed her name to Nilifor Hatun. After the conquest of Bilicic, Osman made a surprise attack on the fortress of Yarisihar, in which he conquered. After these rapid conquests, Osman laid raids on the forts near Inigol. He then laid a siege on the city in where he captured and executed the Tekfur due to his persecutions against Osman uh, due, due to his persecutions against Muslims in the region. In the year 1292, Osman became independent as the Seljuk Sultan, Sultanate of Rum fell with the last Sultan Ghiyasuddin Mas'ud. Osman also developed good relationships with the Tekfurs that did not oppose him. The Tekfur Kuzey Mihal converted to Islam and fought under Osman's banner. In the year 1302, the Byzantine Emperor Michael set out to confront Osman with a big army. Knowing this, Osman avoided confrontation which made many of the Byzantine commanders desert. The Emperor moved back to Constantinople but his father, Andronokios II, sent an army of 2,000 to the plains of Baphius. Osman met with, his ar with the army with 5,000 Alps which included his own and many of his Turkmen allies. Osman's army defeated the Byzantine force, pressuring them to retreat. The battle brought all of Byzantine Bithynia under Osman's control. Osman had two wives. He married Rabia Bala Hatun, the daughter of Sheikh Adib Ali, along with the daughter of the Turkmen Bey, Omar Abdul Aziz Bey, Malhun Hatun. He had six sons, which were Ala Eddin Pasha, Orhan Bey, Shobambe, 
Malik Bey, Hamid Bey, and Pazarul Bey. He also had a daughter named Fatma Hatun. Osman gave a very powerful message to his son after the Battle of Bursa when he was very ill. He told him, Son, be careful about the religious e issues before all other duties. The religious precepts build a strong state. Do not give the religious duties to careless, faithless, and sinful men or to dissipated, indifferent, or inexperienced people. And also do not leave the state administrations to such people, because the one without fear of God the Creator is not afraid of the created. The one committing a great sin and continuing to sin cannot be loyal. If that one would have a loyal person is loyal, he fits to the Prophet's true uh, description and so does not go out from the Sharia. Avoid cruelty and superstition. Remove the persons who encourage cruelty and superstition from your state. Underlying reason is that such persons make the, may decline to you. Always, always expand your state by jihad, because if the campaign is not held for a long time, a deficiency in clumsiness will appear. Such, person, such persons who know better about the campaign die and inexperienced persons come instead of them. So many mistakes emerge and the state damage from this. Save the Beitul Mal or the treasury. Try to make the state stock. Would the, bur would the border be contended with you have and do not destroy in an unuseful way, but your needs and necessities do not squander. Do not be proud with your soldiers and goods, because they are for the way of Allah. Protect the state's men working for Allah's sake. After their death, care about their families and answer their needs. Do not seize your public goods by violence. Give your kind hand to the deserved people and save such person's relations from troubles. Protect the military officials. The scholars, the virtue men, artists, literary men are the power of the state structure. Treat with kindness and show honor to these men. Make close relationships when you hear about a virtuous man and give wealth and grant him. In your state, the number of learned men, virtuous men, and educated men becomes high. Put order the political and religious duties. Take lesson from me, so I came to these places as a weak leader, and I reached to the help of God, although I did not deserve it. You follow my way and protect the deen of Muhammad wasallam and the believers on, and also your followers. Respect the right of God and his servants. Do not hesitate to advise your successors in this way. Depend on God's help in the esteem of justice and fairness to remove the cruelty, cruelty attempts in every duty. Protect your public from enemies' invasions and from the cruelty. Do not behave in any person in an unsuitable way with unfairness. Gratify the public and save all of their sake. That is the end of the video on Osman Bey. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and make sure to check out the video on Arturul Ghazi and the other Islamic history videos that I have made. Thank you.